Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Paul Farkson of eCobalt Solutions. Paul, how are you? Absolutely excellent, Tracy. Pleasure to be here. Good to see you again. Or maybe we should start this uh, interview discussion with congratulations. It seems to me that you're bringing in money hand over fist. We've had a good little streak here, Tracy. Uh, made some great contacts down in Australia uh, with the Canaccord Genuity guys. Did a bot deal. They lent. They led the syndicate for us. We put an announcement out February. Ten days later, we had a, a bot deal close. Seventeen point two five million. It's just phenomenal for us and our shareholders to have that money in place really strong balance sheet moving forward as we start talking to off takers and, and capex just really good for us tracy well congratulations and let me add during pdac i had two different investors come to me paul and say we have deals in the drc and i just step back can you explain to the investor intel audience why ecobalt solutions is a real solution well absolutely i mean E-Cobalt has a primary cobalt deposit located in the United States, Idaho, United States, fully permitted, ready to go. And primary cobalt deposit, most of the cobalt comes from copper cobalt out of the DRC or nickel cobalt out of Russia, Cuba, etc. Apple just recently came out with an announcement and Apple said, we have to really examine our own supply chain because we cannot accept cobalt from the DRC because of child labor involved with that. That is not going to be something that's going to affect us. We can deal with the Apple, we can deal with all of those big uh, phone manufacturing companies, automobile manufacturing companies. We will be able to supply a transparent supply chain of where the product comes from. So it's, it's, it's good for us. For all of the Investor Intel audience members who may not know this story, not only do you have cobalt in the United States, but talk about the actual purity of the cobalt. Well, sure. It's, it's a primary cobalt deposit. So it's about 10 times the grade of other deposits around the world, like a, a copper cobalt deposit or nickel cobalt deposit. And what that happens, that just lends itself, because of the ore, to a very clean product that we will make. Our, our cobalt sulfate heptahydrate, which is what our end product is, is planned to be, we will be about 20.9%. Uh, That's uh, about 4%, about 0.4% higher than most of the grade. For example, what comes out of China is about 20.5. That just means it should be much easier for us to get an offtake agreement in place because of the, of the quality of the product that we will put out there. And what are you planning on doing with this raise that you've just done? Well, um, they don't give us the money to sit on it, so we're absolutely going to spend it. What our plan is immediately is to start beefing up our technical team. We, we need to have a, a COO on side, someone who has uh, built projects before, built mines before. This um, person's job, I'm going to say right off the bat, is going to be hire a mine manager and a process manager and to walk hand in hand with me to Toronto, New York, London, Zurich, as we start looking for CapEx and say, I have built mines, I love this project, I'm gonna build this project. That's the next step for us for part of the money. The rest, it just, it gives the company a lot more strength as you're t negotiating with an off taker or negotiating with a senior debt provider. Just, just having that kind of a balance sheet helps. And of course your timeline is undoubtedly intensified as cobalt, has cobalt not doubled in price? In, in the last uh, six months, cobalt has absolutely doubled in price. And even our graphs and charts and presentations that we made last week are not accurate now because cobalt has increased in price. Today, it's about $25 a pound. And then obviously, the product we will make trades for a premium to, to the cobalt. So it's even, even higher in price. So it's, it's good for us, it's good for the industry. So what's the timeline for production, Paul? From CapEx, to um, uh, start construction will be immediate because we have our permits in place. 13 months as a construction process, the critical path is going underground. So once we're going underground, that's, that's the critical path. We get all of our surface works done at the same time here. Start production in 13 months. And then there's two small ramp up periods because this is really a, a very small 800 ton per day mine. So two 400 ton ramp up periods, our production, 800 ton per day, 21 months full production. So if we're on track here, we should be in production in 2019. 
And of course, you're going to be one of the speakers at the Clean Tech and Technology Metal Summit in May, May 15th and 16th. What should we anticipate between now and May 15th? Well, I'll tell you what the big news is going to be is our feasibility study. We've been working on this for the last few months. It's just about ready to come out. We think we'll have that out by the time your conference is ready. Tracy, we just look forward to coming and presenting at that conference and sharing with everyone our new feasibility, new numbers, new economics. This is going to be, it's going to be another step up for us attending this conference. Well, we're planning on unveiling the next big thing. Paul, is Cobalt the next big thing? Well, Cobalt is the next big thing. This whole conference here was all about cobalt and electric metals. Every major automotive manufacturer are going to produce electric vehicles. The batteries of choice are lithium-ion batteries. They have cobalt in them. It's very, very hard to find the cobalt. We've been working on this project for a long time, so now we're at a point here now where I think we're going to make a big step. This is, this is a great project, clean project. It needs to go into production, Tracy. So we're going, we have the team to put it in production. That's what we're going to do. Well, Paul, I got to tell you, I'm super excited for eCobalt Solutions. And thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, Tracy, thanks very much. Look forward to seeing you soon.